is a day for troubleshooting, isn't it? Okay, I think I got it. All right. One woman, and she's tougher than the whole vanguard. Ah! Let's see what we can do with this. Hoping for ghost smoke. We saw that earlier. Alright, what's your thing? I, I'm sorry, I'll be right with you. Uh... Okay, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm saying it's overkill. It's a weapon! Kill is the point. Not if it blows the user's arm off! Oh, just, just, just stop talking! <sighs> Where were we? Ah! <clears throat> so, uh... You, you look like someone who's always searching for a new weapon. Am I right? Actually, I... Ugh. Could you just not? I am with a customer. I... I'm not a customer. I got it! Triple the powder. It'll blow a strider sky high. But boom One shot kill. Guaranteed. <sighs> uh... Maybe I am. Then you are in the right place at the right time, Red. How would you like to be the proud owner of the world's first machine-enhanced... Explosive, done-in-one, machine-wrecking, yet perfectly safe, javelin thrower? Uh... So, she's your partner? My apprentice, and my sister. She's why we're out here. It was an incident. Another incident. Involving explosives? Ba boom! And Dad's precious homebrew. He shipped us out the next day. Huh. Are you two from around here? Nah, the claim. Dad sent us out west in search of some unknown opportunity. Said we'll know it when we see it. Sounds like you had other ideas. Let's just say that opening another trading post for my parents isn't how I want to make my mark in this world. <sighs> I imagine traveling alone must be nice. Tell me more about this weapon of yours. I saw a scroll when I was a kid by some Karja scholar who wandered out west. Had a scary drawing of a Tanakh warrior hunting with a kind of javelin thrower. Effective? Yes. Basic? Undoubtedly. But coming out here made me remember it. And I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better. Namely, with explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? That. <laughs> They're like, wait, we didn't consider that. There's one small snag. I need the parts to meet the first working model. Well, for starters, I'll need charger horns. Intact. Yeah, that. Just be sure to shoot them off before the machine goes down. Otherwise, they break. But the real innovation, and keep it to yourself, is a fang horn rib. There's a mean one east of here. Blow it sky high. Fumer! You get them for me. It's yours. My treat. You have a deal. Okay. All right, let's go hunt these things down. Checking the camera. All right, it's making me look a little pasty still. If I find a charger to override. Maybe that's just me being pasty. I can override one of these chargers. I have to go on quiet so I don't spook the herd. Hold still. Catch a ride. Oh wait, I think the whole quest here was to like knock one of their horns off. Forgot about that. All right. Oh no. Got one. Woo. Ah, uh, feels kind of laggy again. Uh. 
Whoa! Ow, my everything. Eat a berry. Okay, that one's dead. Dang it, I was trying to hit the horn, but I shot the booty. Didn't mean to do that. It do be a bit choppy. It do, yeah. There goes a horn. Whoop! I shot a canister off of its back, and it just it just died. I wonder how much of the... Can I blame any of my current problems on developers not up to optimizing their games and then being like 300 gigs these days? Or is this all my system's fault? I don't know. I'm not smart enough. Oh! I just made 20 arrows while we're running. I am very skilled. Got a horn. Okay, got that. Uh, did we loot the horn? No, there it is. I should have enough charger horns for Della and Boomer now. Just need a rib from that fang horn they were talking about. Okay. Uh... What are those frames? Oh, I gi I'm giving you both of my frames. I spoil you. Yeah, I don't know what is going on. We've been troubleshooting a lot today. You're welcome, Outlander. You look at her go. Mounts cannot enter this location. Oh, well, that's fine because I took a wrong term apparently. Going the right way? Yeah, I'm almost there. Boomer said that Fanghorn should be nearby. Uh, is that it? Acid could work against that machine. Oh, one of those? That's what I gotta fight? No! I don't like fighting those. God, it's so laggy too. Why? Turns out my graphic card isn't up to date. Actually, when I downloaded this game the other day, it prompted me to update my graphics card drivers, and I got them up to date com uh, as up to date as can be. But yeah, this is pretty. Uh, this is pretty trash. wasn't anywhere near this bed yesterday. Agreed. I don't know why it's doing this. Might take a break from it and uh, do something else in a bit. Oh, 
I thought that it would get stun locked when it hit that electric thing. Should be able to harvest its rib now. Okay. Got everything I need for Della and Boomer. Now, to see about that weapon of theirs. April Fool's Muck is playing on an Apple Watch. No, I'm on my Samsung smart fridge. <sighs> it's frustrating though. I was really enjoying this. I don't know if that'll help at all. I was really enjoying this. Less so with it breaking. It's probably related to a graphic setting. Uh, yeah, maybe. We've been tinkering with the graphic settings a lot, trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, Bloom. We turn Bloom off. We turn Motion Blur off. Shadow. Maybe turn Shadows down to low. Reflections can turn off. Founder becoming the hunted. That was grim. Why did she say that? Hunter becoming the hunter. Uh, where? Other side of this building. Is he using the proper graphics card? I mean, I only have one. I think if it was using the onboard CPU, it would be trash. Like, more trash. I know that look. You've got all the parts, haven't you? Here you go. Nope, this is just my unconstipated look. Outstanding! I only need a few minutes to finish the prototype. I'll take the version that won't blow my arms off. Thanks. Why are you staring at me Hi. like a creep? So did you blow up any machines to get the parts? Or any bandits? You really like explosions, huh? Here we go. With the boomsticks? Oh, you betcha. Um, is it safe? Probably. Can I have one? No! Ah. Uh. Cause we're gonna make you something even better. Ba boom Okay. Spike throwers launch powerful projectiles that can hit enemies at long range. Due to their long buildup, they have a slow rate of fire and cannot be used while jumping or crouching. Spikes must be thrown at full draw in order to penetrate armor. What about a roadcaster? Um, I don't see it here anywhere. How do I use it? Hmm. This is like left click, left click, mouse five. You have to go to your inventory and equip it. OK. 
Okay. Explosive spike pack. Okay. Uh, and what's this quest? Go to Baron Light. All right. Let's try this out on something. Pleasant day to you. I'd also like to hack another mount. Why is it not auto loading? Can't override that now. Need to get data from a cauldron if I can find one. Uh, hang on a sec. When we messed with this, do we turn off auto loading? Okay, better. What are you doing? Stop climbing. Get down. So the explosive thing takes a few seconds to go off. We saw that. Solution, turn down two settings. Uh, let me see. Antroscopic filtering, 16x to 8x. I was currently on four. Um, texture quality from very high to high. It was already on high. VRAM usage. Where do you see that? VRAM usage 8.5, 9.1 gigabyte, GPU power draw, constant 350 centimeters. What? Water quality. Turn that to low. All right, so I basically turned up the graphics by following what you linked me. I appreciate you trying to help, though. I don't know if this is going to do it. Campfire. That's a quick save. Check the render resolution. Hang on. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I was on 4x and I was already set to high, down from very high. So that's not, that's actually higher settings than what I was running. DLSS on might help. Mm. It's on. How about even lower? Two. Be welcome, Outlander. <sighs> Wait. Yeah, hold on. There's a button. How do I use this? Oh, there we go. Let's try to figure Boomer's out how to call my mouth. Still open. We got anything for her? Go 
that way. Go that way. Baron Light. Last part of the Sundom before the Forbidden West. Don't need a machine in a Karja Horn. Maybe that means the embassy's starting soon. Hopefully. All right, I should find whoever's in charge here. But first, I could resupply at my stash. I'd be worth mm, taking a look around, good. too. There's Erend. That looks like he's had a few. Gentlemen. Uh, that's our cue. <laughs> taking the edge off? Well, if the end of the world's coming, I don't be sober for it. <laughs> now let me guess. You're in a rush, right? So whatever you need, ask away. How have things been since I... Your silent departure? <laughs> yeah, not bad. Vanguard's going strong. Helped Avad pick up the pieces after the battle with the Eclipse. And I took a month to bury Ursa in the claim. But when I got back, I got the assignment to babysit Vadis on his way to the embassy. Vadis. I thought that'd be a cakewalk, so of course things went sideways. You got blindsided. Wasn't your fault. <laughs> a couple more of these, maybe I'll believe you. I was, um, wondering if you were able to lay Ursa to rest, like you wanted. Uh, yeah, 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 we did. Uh, <coughs> just seemed the crowd to shut up and pay their respects. Half of them owed her a favor, and the other half, the other half owed her their lives. In the end, everybody drank. You know, that's the rowdiest funeral since, uh, well, since ever. <laughs> Feels like she would have liked that. Yeah, damn straight. Damn straight. <laughs> she would have put them all under the table. What do you know about the embassy? Oh, you know, not much. Only that Avad really wants it to happen. He said I'm making peace with these Tanakh. But from what I hear, they're not too big on the whole diplomacy thing. They do most of their talking with blades and arrows. So if you're heading their way, be prepared. Things might get ugly real fast. I'll keep that in mind. <clears throat> what do you know about this place? No, nothing good. It's where the Karja dragged all the captives they took from the Forbidden West during the Red Raids. Lucky ones became slave labor. The rest were hauled off to the Sun Ring and Meridian. For sacrifice. You got it. Tanakh made sure to wreck the place before they chased the Karja out of the West. I can't say I blame them. And now Avad's paying the Azram to rebuild it. But no matter how much new stone they put up, it'll still be stained in blood. I better get going. Right, you know, I have to do complicated Aloy things. Maybe just don't disappear completely this time. No promises. I, I guess what I'm really trying to say is, if you ever do need me... I know where to find you. Huh? Hopefully sober next time. Not don't count on it. Be careful out there, Aloy. Uh, let's see. Dude, what... In the, some of these conversations, like, the fact that she's just, like, so jaded and combined with what they did to her face between the first game and the second one, it's like they aged her, like, 40 years. I mean, if that's what they were going for, they nailed it. Like, in the last game, it was, she seemed like a teenager that was just, like, caught up in this, like, horrible mess. And then in this game, she just reminds me of my aunt, who has just been, like, a chain smoker for, like, 60 years. Savior. You're my last hope. Conover. She's Meridian's savior, not yours. It's just Aloy. What do you want? Please, no one will listen. But the Eclipse... 
they're here in the daunt. Really, Conover? Aloy's the one that defeated them. You're bothering her with this hogwash now? Some of them must have fled west after the battle at the Alight. I saw one of our sentries, Lorovic, sneaking off to meet with one. I tried to eavesdrop, but they spotted me. And then Lorovic tried to kill me. I... fought back. It was him or me. Unfortunately, there's no hard evidence that connects Lorovic to the Eclipse. And since Conover doesn't deny killing his fellow soldier, Nozar sentenced him to death. What makes you so sure Lorovic was working with the Eclipse? Well, I was too far to hear everything. But I heard them both say the word Eclipse. It's not the most outlandish claim I've heard, but it's up there. Crying Eclipse is a convenient way to dodge a death sentence. If I have to die, so be it. But if we ignore this threat, others are going to die too. Tell me exactly what happened. Weeks ago, during a shift change, some trespassers slipped through the gate. By the time anyone noticed, they were halfway out the canyon. Nozar didn't see the need to give chase. Let the Tanakh take care of them, he said. Nozar's not one to be sidetracked. He tightened up the patrol schedules, reprimanded the sentries, and everyone moved on. But I couldn't stop thinking about it. None of us are careless out here, meaning someone left it open on purpose. And Larovic, well, he's always grumbling about officers. But on this, he was too quiet. And after the incident, he started acting different, jumpy. So when I spotted him sneaking out of the barracks after hours, I followed. I found him arguing with a stranger. And when Larovic mentioned the eclipse, I, I tried getting closer, but they heard me. The stranger took off, and Lorovic lunged at me with his knife. Instincts took over. Sentries heard the scuffle and found me standing over his body. Hmm, what do you think, chat? Is the prisoner a good boy? Or is he lying trying to save his skin? Why don't you believe him? We combed the woods. Searched Lorovic's bunk. Searched it again. Didn't find anything. Look. Conover's a good man. I don't believe he murdered Larovic in cold blood. But Nazar only listens to facts. And that fact is, Conover killed his fellow sentry. He doesn't deny it, right? No, but more eclipses are out there. And considering there's no evidence backing up this eclipse story, well, we can't question a dead man. Nazar's on edge with the upcoming embassy and doesn't want distractions. But hey, if you find a bunch of Eclipse soldiers hatching an evil plot in the woods, please do let us know. The meeting you witnessed. Did you hear anything else about their plans? No. But the clearing where they met is just east of here, across the river. A dozen soldiers have already searched it, Conover. There's nothing there. I can see things others can't. If the Eclipse are in the Daunt, I'll find them. Thank you, Aloy. Sun bless your search. Don't get your hopes up, soldier. Okay. Lighten up, Paiv. You've got a thick wall of stone between you and the Tanakh. Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. Look at his so, boot. They got like bladed what boots. What brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh Marshals have yet to sound their horn. <sighs> All right, fine. Let me through the gates, then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do, but I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. 